maximum. Help. Engaged. Welcome back everyone. We were just about to investigate Sandoval's apartment, at the end of the last episode. I already showed Sandoval's apartment, in my first Praxis Kid location guide, which was way back in part 15. You sure you closed the door? Yes! Of course I did. What do you think I am? An idiot? You're not gonna make me answer that, are you? This Praxis Kid is booby-trapped, and even after you disable it, picking it up will result in Zeke turning hostile towards you, meaning you will lose the Ghost or Smooth Operator bonus, so leave the kid for now. Zeke is waiting in ambush, behind this door, so let's say hello. This would be a good time to pick up the Praxis Kit, but I actually forgot. Don't! I might have come back and picked it up later, but I'm not sure. Don't! Pritchard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Why would anyone come down here? I think they're afraid someone's gonna try to sneak a bomb into the Doc's locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the Doc's head than what's in his locker. Great, another sewer. Jensen must really stink by now.
I hear mines. You can actually sneak past the guards by going this way, but there's no fun in that. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's on the edge. There's no telling what he'll do. More of a reason to go in there and talk to him. Hell no. Nah. I don't want to walk in on him. He might get scared and stop popping off shots. Just let him sort out this mess by himself. Looks like Sandoval is about to have a nervous breakdown. We'll deal with him in a moment, just as soon as these guards are taken care of. Access granted. That's the door we need to go through, but let's collect a few mines first. Now back to that door. A short movie plays here, so we will have to wait until next time, to see what lies beyond. Please remember to comment, thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Goodbye for now.